In Control 2 is Peplink's cloud-based SD, WAN network management service, which is included while your device is under warranty. This is a website where you can monitor, configure, and troubleshoot your Peplink devices remotely. What we want to show you today is how to set up your first In Control 2 account and add devices. We'll also go over a few features of In Control 2. To start, go to incontrol2.peplink.com. Click Sign Up here below the login, then fill in the required information. You'll receive an email confirmation to activate your account shortly after. Log in, and you'll be prompted to create an organization name, followed by a group name. Multiple organizations and groups can be added if needed. Save changes as you continue. Next, you'll add your serial number or numbers for this group. Keep in mind that configurations can only be applied to a single device as well as a group of devices. So, any devices needing the same settings would need to be added to the same group. Click on the name to view details about this device. If your devices have an internet connection, they should report as online shortly after adding them. Just like the group level page we were just at, the device details page has tabs at the top for different reports and configuration options. Take a look under settings and select remote web admin. Since not all configuration can be done through in control 2, this is an easy way to remotely access the web admin. Some advanced settings like drop-in mode cannot be set up remotely, but everything else will look the same as when you're logged into the router locally. Going back to the in control 2 page, we'll take a look at how to add a new group. There's a couple ways to do this. See at the top here under the organization settings or take a look below the device list and click manage. Click the create button at the top left. Save changes at the bottom when you're done. If you need to add additional users, this can be done at the group level or at the organization level. Enter the person's information and click the plus sign to the right. At that time, the person will receive an email stating that they now have access to this organization or group. If they do not yet have their own in control 2 account, they can create one at this time. Now let's take a quick look over some of the reporting options through Peplink. For this, we're going to go into an existing account so we have more data to review. For individual device reports, make sure you are at the device level first. Hover your mouse over reports and you'll see the different options, starting with device reports. The Wi-Fi report section is similar, but only shows wireless clients. WAN quality reports is next and is a very helpful tool for seeing a timeline of your cellular connection. For fleets, this can help identify weak signal areas so you can adjust your route or add a booster. Bandwidth and usage reports will display the same data as the usage reports found within the local web admin under the status tab. See how much data is used each hour, day, or month and pinpoint high data users if necessary. Of the other options here, Captive Portal Reports and Firewall Log will not show any data unless you have a Captive Portal or Firewall events being monitored. The Event Log will show you anything found in the local web admin. This includes the WAN connection up and down history, but that can also be viewed by itself. For in control 2 specific settings, as well as notifications, firewall management, and scheduling, refer to the Settings tab from the group level.